source of all compassion, love unbounded, love all pure. Visit us with your salvation. Let your love in us endure. Come, Almighty, to deliver. Let us all your life receive. Suddenly return and never, never Lord, we would be always blessing, serve you as your host above. Pray and praise you without ceasing, glory in your precious love. Finish then your new creation, pure and spotless, gracious Lord. Let us see your great salvation perfectly in you restored. Change from glory. Hello everyone, welcome to St. Ignatius of Antioch Parish and our celebration of the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And my sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ in the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. 
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, You shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset. For this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he had, does he have to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love you, Lord, my strength, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength, my strength. I love you, oh Lord, my strength. Strength, O oh Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength, my strength. The Lord lives, blessed be my rock, extolled be God, my Savior. You who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength, my strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all believers in Macedonia and Achaia. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. 
the word of the Lord. loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment of, in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest in the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A lawyer asked Jesus, what was the greatest of all the laws? There are 613 of them in the Hebrew scriptures. What was the most important? Jesus responded with two quotations from the Torah. The Torah, the books, are the books of Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Leviticus, and Deuteronomy. The first quotation was the sacred Jewish prayer called the Shema Israel. This was the prayer contained in the sixth chapter of the book of Deuteronomy 6.5. It's recited by pious Jews every morning and every evening. Hear this, O Israel, Shema Israel. God is one. You shall love your God with your whole heart, your whole soul, and your whole mind. The second quotation came from the book of Leviticus, 1918. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. We cannot just love God part-time. We have to love him with everything that we have. We cannot just be good to our neighbor every now and then. We have to treat our neighbors the same way that we care for ourselves. The heart of Christian morality is the desire to love God fully, completely, and to love others as unique reflections of God's love. We can see an analogy in the love we must have, in the love that good parents have for their children. Parents do not try to figure out what is the minimal amount of love they must have to be good parents. Parents continually give their love. They give their love because they know their children need their love. Parents do not love their children because they're afraid that if they don't love their children, God will punish them. Parents love their children because they're their children. Parents love their children for whom they are. Expressions of love, loving them back. Parents do not love their children due to their looks or talents or intelligence. They love them because they are their children. God loves us because we are his children. Jesus is not calling us to be minimalists. He's calling us to love God and neighbor completely without counting the cost. Shema Israel. God wants us to love him with our whole mind our whole heart, and our whole soul. 
Give me your mind, the Lord says. Do not just think about me when it's convenient for you. Do not destroy your minds with evil thoughts. No, give me your whole minds. The Lord says, are you distressed? Do you despair? Have your children or your parents or relatives or friends hurt you? Give me your mind. Love me with your thoughts, and I will transform your thoughts into my way of thinking. I will give you wisdom. We all have negative thoughts with regards to other people. We have to realize this. These thoughts are destroying us. We can't get them under control, though, and even, even eliminate them. And there's a trick. We need to pray for the people who, are, who hurt us. We need to pray for those whose very existence irritate us. When we do this, not only does our pain diminish, but we are giving our negative thoughts to God who turns them into a source of grace. Prayer is amazing. Not only does God listen to our needs, he heals us when our own minds attack us. Give me your hearts, the Lord says. He wants our whole heart. He wants us to love him with every part of ourselves, even those parts that are empty and need love. He wants us to love him by loving others, spouse, children, parents, neighbors. He doesn't want just part of our hearts. He wants all of our hearts. If there's part of our love that we cannot share with God, such as the love a married person might have for someone else, then this itself is not really love because God is not in that love. The only love that is real is the love that gives. This is the love where he is present. This is the love that God wants us to have for each other. Loving God with our whole heart is really loving our neighbors as ourselves because it's loving as God loves. God wants our whole soul. God wants all those qualities that distinguish us from animals. He wants us abil our, our ability to love and to think. He also wants our ability to imagine, our ability to choose, our ability to express ourselves as individuals, our ability to be who we are, created in his likeness and in, in his image and likeness. Shema Israel. You shall love the Lord with your whole mind, with your whole heart, and with your whole soul. If we want to have meaning in our lives, if we want to die knowing that we've been faithful to the whole reason why we've been created, then we have to give all we have back to the Lord. Love your neighbor as yourself. In his encyclical on love, Deus Caritas Est, God is love. Pope Benedict noted the three words for love used by the ancient Greeks, eros, philia, and agape. Eros refers to physical love without any spiritual qualities. Philia refers to the love of friendship. This is the love that people have for each other. Agape refers to a love that is at the heart of the relationship with God. Agape is the love that wants others to join us in our relationship with God. Christian love should be shared with everyone, regardless of our feelings. It's the kind of love which Jesus commanded us that we show even to those who hurt us. Love your enemies, the Lord commanded. Loving our neighbor as ourselves means that just as we want to be united with God, we want others also to be united to God. When this becomes the focus of our relationship, then we're loving others as Christ taught us how to love. The lawyer asks, what does God want from us? Jesus answers, he wants it all. God bless you now.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, and who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in God's merciful love, let us bring him our prayers today. For the church, may God help us remain faithful to all of his commandments and grow in the fullness of the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our men and women serving in the military, may they return safely home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For men and women in our diocese discerning priesthood or religious life, may they be open to hearing God's call. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this gathered assembly, may the love and truth that God has poured into our hearts sustain us in all that we do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill with the coronavirus, May Jesus, the divine physician, offer them hope and provide healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, may they enjoy eternal peace in the presence of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of our parish, for whom this mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please pray for all who have died from the coronavirus, plus Eileen Minoto, Reverend Carl Ashman, and Reverend Humphrey, who died recently. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our respect for life from womb to tomb, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have been away from the church, may they come back home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear our prayers and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. joins us together, let us rejoice in him, and in our love and care for all, now love God in return. Ube caritas is vera, is vera, True communion, let us gather, 
may all division cease and in their place be Christ the Lord, our risen Prince of Peace. Ubi caritas es vera, es vera, Deus ibi est, Deus ibi est. May we who gather at this table to share the bread of life become a sacrament of love, your healing touch, O Christ. Ubi caritas es vera, es vera, Deus ibi es, Deus ibi es. And my sisters and brothers, Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands. Praise, praise and glory of his glory name, his for our good and the good of all his holy church. church. Lord, we pray, look on the offerings we make, in your, we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruit of the Spirit, through whom you raised Jesus up from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you and in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Ignatius of Antioch and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop, the order of bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, and your compassionate, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind mittens to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace you grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only only say the the word word, and my my soul soul shall be healed. healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering to God. Love one another as I have loved you. Care for each other, I have cared for you. Bear each other's burdens, find each other's wounds. And so you will know my return. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray. Perfect us in what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. This we ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks Thanks be to God. And have a beautiful week, folks. Joyful, joyful, we adore Thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before Thee, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. Thou art giving and forgiving, ever blessing, ever bless. Wellspring of the joy of living, ocean depth of happy rest. Thou, our Father, Christ, our Brother, all who live in love are Thine. Teach us how to love each other. Lift us to the joy divine.